So, this is uh, one more question asked in shift 1 for 2 marks. It is very easy question asked for 2 marks from regular expressions topic. So, consider what is the question here? Consider the following 2 regular expressions over the alphabet 0 1. So, R is a regular expression, S is a regular expression, R is one regular expression, S is one regular expression. Then the question is total number of strings of length less than or equal to 5, less than or equal to 5 over the alphabet, over the alphabet 0 comma 1. So, this is the alphabet here. Now, here over this alphabet of all possible less than or equal to 5, total how many strings possible? First, we need to see how many strings possible, but the question is which are neither in R nor in S. So, first let us see over alphabet, over uh, alphabet 0 comma 1, how many 0 length strings possible? Number of 0 length strings possible is that is epsilon 2 power 0, 1 length strings 2 power 1, 2 length strings 2 power 2, 3 length strings 2 power 3, 4 length strings 2 power 4, 5 length strings 2 power 5. So, total value of this will be 63. So, over alphabet uh, over 2 symbols, over 2 symbols sum of all 0 length, 1 length, 2 length, 3 length, 4 length, 5 length if I count that is 63 here. Now, how many are, how many of this out of this 63, the strings which are not there in either R or S, neither in R nor in S. So, first let us see the strings of R and S properly. So, I have calculated separately here from R up to phi length. What are the strings possible up to phi length? Up to phi length epsilon possible only 0. See this regular expression R from the regular expression R we can generate only zeros or only 1s. So, 1 0, 2 0, 3 0, 4 0, 5 0 up to phi. From this a single one, 2 1s, 3 1s, 4 1s, 5 because uh, our required thing is less than or equal to phi length only. So, uh, in R total how many strings are there here? 11 strings. There are 11 strings in R. Similarly, if you consider S. So, from S 0 1 star 1 0 star. So, what is the expression S here? 0 1 star 1 0 star. So, from here if you generate epsilon 1 length then uh, if you expand 0 followed by 1 star is there, 1 1 time, 2 time, 3 time, 4 time. So, length is up to 5. Then uh, 1 0 star if I expand 1 0, 1, 2 0, 1 3 0, 1 4 0 like this. Now, what we have to do? R union S. So, total how many strings are there in R union S? There are some repeated strings are there here. We need to eliminate those. What are the repeated strings? If you observe the repeated strings, epsilon 0 1, because we have to perform union now. If you perform union, how many strings are there in R, R union S here? So, here 11, then uh, remove these 3, because uh, 0 is epsilon 0 1 is there here. So, the union does not include these 3 remaining 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8 from this. So, total 11 R 1 union S contains uh, 11 plus 8 that is 19. 19 strings are there in R union S. R union S contains 19. So, remember this value based on this if you solve our question the total number of strings of length less than or equal to 5 which are neither in R nor in S. So, total number of strings value is actually 63. So, over this alphabet 0 1 all 0 length, all 1 length, all 2 length, all 3 length, all 4 length, all 5 length if you add all this the value is 63. But the strings which are there in these two we do not want that means 63 value of 63 minus 90. So, that is 44. So, the answer for this is 44. This is a 2 mark question given in shift 1 paper.